What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of V4 Higurashi uh, Go. Uh, with me, as always, at Blue Spade, and this is episode mm -hmm. episode ten. Um, uh, so, okay. Um, yeah. I just feel like this this is becoming more agonizing each week. I keep watching this. I mean, it, it's not bad, but it's just like, why am I having to watch the exact same sequence of events like like I did in the in the original? Yeah. Um. I was reminded of some things I uh, saw from this arc in the original series, but I wasn't sure. Like, so, so, like, how much, I, uh, how, how much is pretty much exactly the same in this episode? Is it like pretty much I would everything, say or like it, okay. almost exactly everything except you know what they added in the beginning of this episode? Right. Well, I mean, yeah. Well, so, I, like, technically, the beginning of the episode uh, was technically something that would happen in the next episode after this. But assuming if right, it'll yeah. play out exactly the same way, but you know, okay. So the episode starts out. I would say more of a like a premonition dream sequence that Keiichi sees of him like uh, ambushing uh, Sadako's uncle and then bludgeoning him to death with a baseball bat which is what happened in the original series yeah. then he wakes up from that and then like he, he questions like you know what what exactly happened and then pretty much re the remainder of this episode was just the exact same sequence as like in the original <laughs> like episode 10 from you know the original series yeah so Speaking of that sequence, um, I, I guess it is worth pointing out we've only seen this happen one other time, which is in the first arc. Um, well, I, it, I guess technically it's not Oni Kakushi, but it may as well be. Um, in the first arc, at least of this series, uh, we see um, Keiichi briefly having a premonition of what he did in the original Oni Kakushi, um, and he, of course, does not end up doing that. Interestingly enough, we actually do not get a... Uh, Keiichi having any sort of premonition of what happened in the original Watanagashi arc in uh, I think it's Watadamashi uh, which uh, which was kind of interesting I don't I'm not sure if that has any significance uh, but of course again we see Keiichi having another premonition um, in this one but also interesting is that Rika I mean and even in this episode Rika has yet to um try to steer Keiichi in a, in a different direction that could end up like changing things uh, because that's what she's been doing for the past two arcs but so far she has not I, done I mean that she I mean this one she's close to Sadako for one thing and you it would make much more sense if she in, in this one considering like she has yeah she's much closer to Sadako um, so you know it, it really affects her more than just you know Keiichi uh, with what's yeah, happening but Sadako. she it didn't look like she even lifted lift the freaking finger to even try to alter some things Yeah, she kind of is just moping around the whole episode about what's happening with her But she doesn't really actively try to do anything. It's really like H -E that's sort of going out of his way to try to help Yeah, Sadako. it's um, so okay. So like I said the sequence of events is just similar to you know the original episode and Okay, so Sadako's absent from school, and you know everyone else is worried. And then the next, I think, shortly afterwards, we see Oishi again, you know, talking to mm -hmm. Keiichi. And then this time, well, he's he, you know Oishi starts questioning Keiichi, asking him. It, Oishi's a bit more antagonistic, I think, in this uh, in the arc. It seems uh, both both Keiichi is uh, Keiichi is more aggressive towards Oishi, and Oishi seems to be more aggressive in turn. Because uh, I do think I remember, I'm not sure if it's in this arc, but I do remember Keiichi, like, eventually confronting Oishi, and I think he also, like, um, I'm not sure if he, like, if he, like, uh, no, 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 okay, never mind, I was, I was getting the people wrong, because I do remember, of course, he beats the uncle, but, uh, uh, but yeah, he is definitely more antagonistic towards Oishi, um, I, I think because he's trying to protect Sadako, and, uh, because Oishi in this arc is going after Sadako. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I mean, o Oishi just, you know, starts pushing uh, Keiichi, including, like, squeezing his shoulder uh, so hard. It apparently, he squeezes it so hard. Like, I don't know what happened. Apparently, I guess he left a mark or something, because later we see him actually getting his uh, abandoned, yeah, abandoned like, put on his shoulder. Uh, what is it? It, 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 like, you know, steps in and, you know, and drives Oishi away. And then uh, Irie, like, you know, pretty much walks... Keiichi through like um, you know Sadako's history about you know her parents getting killed in a in a bus accident, then 
she and her brother uh, Satoshi like move in with their aunt and uncle, which of course they ended up abusing them. And then Satoshi is the only person that you know uh, who comes in and to protect Sadako from their abuses over and over again. And then um, and then Irie mentions that you now um, that the aunt ended up getting killed by I think by a random drug dealer, uh, which. Which originally drove uh, Tepe away from uh, from Hinamizawa because he thought it was like part of the uh, Oyashiro curse. But then, you know, of course, no, the mm. um, you know Tepe comes back and starts taking custody of Sadako again, and and and, yeah. and then, and then of course, like um, uh, I think I'm pretty sure the next day, like Sadako comes back and um she like she's not her like you know cheery self as we normally see her like she just you know she just like starts you know she's more um she she starts avoiding like you know most other activities that she would normally do with all of her friends and then and then yeah like uh mio tries to cheer her up and get her to do the club activities but she just you know yeah and then you know of course this worries them once again and then you know they start they start talking to the teacher to like asking if well they start talking to like to call the what, what was it the child the child child protective yeah service. and then um yeah i think uh was it bef- the scene before this like where mion explains that they uh they they did call child protective services on on the uncle before but they only said that they would be keeping an yeah, eye on him they, and they, they, they really did and then the teacher goes, uh, you know, goes to the house, and then, and then, uh, yeah, and oh, well, yeah, because <laughs> Te- Tepi says like, you know, oh, she's having a, you know, like a bad cold, and that's why she didn't go to school the next day, and then, you know, then, then, then they stall, call, like, yeah, they call the child hotline again, like, and then they said they're gonna keep an eye on them, and then of course the next day, like Sadako comes back, back to her cheery normal self. Uh, all of a sudden, and then I think R- Rika and Keiichi like have a conversation about what happened, and then R- Rika said like the uh, the she mentions that this is like this is not the first time like you know that uh, that uh, what was it the child the child consultation hotline was called like I think it's, I think she said it was the yeah third the, the, a third like, time yeah. I, I I can't can't remember the exact yeah. Yeah, basically, Rika explains that uh, the first time, uh, apparently the reason that Child Protective Services isn't really taking action is because the first time that they were called, uh, Sadako lied about her abuse. Uh, So now I guess they doubt her more. Yeah, and I I guess, like... Even though that's pretty fucked up. I I, I know. Personally, I just don't... This isn't really my, you know... (sighs) my favorite story arc in the series just because of how fucked up it is. It is kind of hard to watch just because of how like dark it gets. With yeah. Movies, uh, and then, you know. and then of course I think uh scene after this, like, you know, they're having lunch again and then, you know, like S- Sadako is like, you know, acting her usual self. But then as, as soon as like Keiichi is about to pat her on the head, she just completely has um, a freaking metal breakdown and says, you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry over and over again and begging for her brother Sadrachi to come to her rescue. And- oh, I, I didn't mention this in the last episode too, but apparently like, I think this is a mess up with Funimation subs uh, because it says brother instead of, because I think she says Nini or yeah, something in the original. I don't- um, and, and for some reason, like, I think that's a mistranslation. Like it's, uh, I don't think yeah, that's what that means. They, they did, but, th- they did that uh, with the last episode. I don't, I don't know what the, I don't know what the reason is for that is and i don't know how they're gonna handle this you know once the dub that version of this episode is gonna come out but i, I don't okay. i don't know well I, I do remember i think in the original dub she they she she does i think still call him that I, um i think she calls him I, or yeah so, yeah uh, this i mean you know it's played by the same you know everyone's being played by the same voice actors from the original japanese version so it still makes sense yeah uh, that they keep the original lines there but yeah it's just this episode just you know this there's nothing different about this it's just like it's the same i'm literally having to endure mm. the same thing that i've watched before <laughs> i i guess it'll be really interesting in the next episode to see if kg still is going to end up uh 
you know, going through with uh, potentially killing. Uh, part part of me wishes that he still uh, does because he's, you know. Yeah. But, I mean, <laughs> I, I'd be pissed off maybe if he doesn't. I don't know why he would go in a different direction this time, though. Like, why? It's it's like, I mean, yeah, that, that would be bad if he does end up, you know, murdering him. He shouldn't do it. But it's just like, it would make sense considering how, you know, close he is with Sadako. Like, you know, the same things are still happening and he's still close to Sadako, I guess. Like, you know, the, the only wild card is just going to be Rika, I guess, maybe trying to steer him in a new direction. I don't know what that could be uh, because I don't know. Um, I, I may, maybe this time around he might get Oishi to help him out more, but Oishi's just, I, I just don't know how much Oishi could really help because Oishi's kind of, Oishi's kind of a, just kind of a dick. And I think he's more really just kind of in it for, you know, he's, he's pretty selfish. Uh, I don't really think he's really interested in necessarily like helping. Yeah, like he did uh, any good in the last it, two arcs when everyone else getting you know gets killed and shit. <laughs> so yeah. I, I I don't know. This is like Oishi is just the use is a completely useless fuck at this point. So it's <laughs> it's it's just I honestly I I I just don't know what what the alternative path is. Like what what what's going to happen instead of uh, Keiichi killing him. Um, like, how else is he gonna solve? I this mean, situation? who knows? Maybe we, we should maybe you know might do something useful for for once in his life, and then just maybe arrest, yeah. or, you know, arrest Sadako's uncle for, you know, for the good of it. But well, the problem is they they, they would need like hard evidence because that's yeah. the other thing is they don't. Yeah, I would guess so. Just but overall, I uh, honestly, I, I I just don't know why am I being subjected to this again? I mean, they, like you know, yeah. I'm going to have to. Yeah, this is the first time I'm having to go on a rant on this show. Just. Having to go, it's just. I mean, I, I like, I like the, you know, the original show. It's just the problem is like, you know, they're making this again, like all over again, like you know, the exact same sequence of events without changing much of anything. I mean, like they did make changes, yeah. but it's not significant enough. I don't know to like. like it's it's really like with the last two arcs, for example. Like it's, it's really like near the end where things went in a different direction and like different stuff happened like but it's still like it's more or less the same results it's just in a different manner that it happens um and i'm guessing this won't be too much difference to be honest like it's probably just gonna you know near the end we'll we'll, we'll probably get like a uh you know keiichi making a different choice but it probably won't change anything um and that's the thing that's kind of getting frustrating is that like okay you know yeah it happened differently but we still get more or less the same thing you know the, the same the same events played out it's just they happened in a different way um and the only other difference from the last arc and if for example is that khe actually lives um so but i i just don't know what point that serves because it's like okay but everybody else died and, and, and then like, and then you're just and then you're know. just resetting the you know the timeline again for no reason yeah. it's just i i, I just I don't know. It's just, it, it's just weird. Ha like having to, you know, just going through this torture again, just like watching the exact same sequence. It's like, well, actually, everybody but Rena died. That, that's the thing that's just, is a little bit confusing to me too. Like, actually, no, they, actually, Rena didn't die in the original uh, arc either. So that they did actually keep that the same. Surprisingly, like Rena's. Yeah, and, but they never go um, back to that. And you know, no, it's just, but you know, just. But now, and now we're going back to the you know the whole Sadako arc, and it's, it's just like literally yep. just watching the first two episodes of the uh, of this arc. Just like it's just literally watching the exact same thing, like other other than like hinting yeah, that I, something might happen in the next episode with them showing like that you know that premonition of uh, Keiichi killing Sadako's, Sadako's uncle, which I mean. If, if there's anything I can say about this episode is that it didn't seem as rushed as the last one, I guess. Like, it seemed like they pretty much didn't really rush too much of anything. It's like they covered most of the important stuff. Um, I mean, they did in the last episode, too, but it did seem like they were kind of rushing through some things. Yeah, I mean, they did, but it's just, you know, it's just yeah. like I, I I just didn't feel like, you know, it, it was even necessary to even <laughs> having to watch the entire thing again. Uh, unless if you're a new viewer, it's just like for people that watch this it's like you know it's just like why do we have to watch this in a whole sequence of events again if we know what's going to happen unless if you know you're trying to yeah. hint to you know maybe they did hint at us like maybe at the beginning of this episode that they might end up changing something but what like but will those changes really pay off in the end 
or or even make any mm. significant difference yeah. for us to really even care. I I just want to know what the point of it is. Like I want to know why this is. Yeah, happening. I don't know. Right. It's like I mean, at I least I, I mean, I'm kind of glad that this is gonna be at least two cores, but you're just like it's. I just yeah. feel like you know they're just wasting an entire first core, just you know relitigating everything that you know that they already did in the original series. Yeah, unless they do end up changing something near the end of the core, they have some kind of something that hooks people, because, I mean, so far it's just, like, it's just more or less been mostly the same, but, like, with some changes here and there, uh, but nothing really that significant, and like I said, nothing that really seems to change the overall outcome of what happens. No, I, um, so, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, the episode by itself is, like, it, 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 was, it was okay, but god it's just like mm -hmm. it's just agonizing to watch having to you know to see these sequence of events of like of what sadako is going through yeah i mean at least you don't actually like well at least not yet at least you don't really see the abuse no. happening but you do see like you know the the effects of it yeah of it's, it's it, i don't know i mean we'll, we'll have to wait and see what you know what's gonna happen next week if they're gonna keep going the same route or if they might end up changing something which i'm hoping those mm -hmm. changes will at least be more beneficial than having to be uh you know like how how they ended up with um you know with the last arc which which is like yeah. literally amounted to almost nothing at that point yeah i i just don't really have too much to say about this episode like it, you know yeah I, I i will take spade's word for it because like i said it's been a while since i've seen the original series so the only parts i do remember are the parts where you know sadako is freaking out and the uh uh, the whole like of course her uncle being abusive thing um but yeah it, it did seem like i'd seen most of it before uh it's i could not really tell the aside from like the very beginning of the episode what was really different from the uh the original series so um yeah i'm kind of hoping that maybe in the next episode we might get another and i'm kind of expecting that's where we're going to see some something change because you know that's where keiichi could potentially end up killing the uncle so uh, i'm kind of wondering if that's still going to happen or not um and uh if it doesn't happen then what's going to happen instead and if it's actually this time going to make any sort of a significant difference because uh so far that hasn't really been the I, case. Mean, I mean yeah because i i don't, I don't know like what kg you know would would rather do instead of having to go after you know sadako's uncle after yeah that's what i'm wondering like <laughs> i don't know um yeah, I guess what else I have to say. I don't, I don't really have too much else to say about this one. Like, it's, uh, um, I thought it was, you know, uh, it, it, it's felt like I, I would say I liked it better than the last episode just because that's, you know, this is where we're starting to get, actually get into, uh, uh, you know, the meat of this arc, uh, you know, that being Sadako's abuse. Um, whereas the last episode, it was just sort of going back to the whole slice of life thing. Um, but yeah, not too much that I could tell that was different. So, I guess I'm kind of waiting uh, for the the you know the divergence and uh, if it's going to make do uh, have any significant like changes. Um, but like I said, I kind of at this point I'm kind of doubting it um, because of how the last two arcs mm -hmm. went. So, but um, maybe not. Maybe they'll um, maybe they'll still be some surprises in store. I guess we'll have yeah. to see. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. But well, let's let's see what's gonna happen. You know, next week. See. Like I, I'm just yeah. I'm just hoping like for maybe some changes, but I doubt it. It's just I I just feel like this you know the exact same sequence is gonna end end up playing out in a way. Yeah, it does feel yeah. that way. Um, but yeah, uh, and all being said, I guess until uh, next Thursday, we will see you all next time.